So how much we have progressed uh, in the last session? In the type casting, na? Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir. You have understand the type casting. What is type casting? What is the narrowing type casting and the widening type casting? Yes, sir. Okay. So today we will start from the operators. So what is the operators? Operators are used to perform operations on variable and values. There are many kind of uh, many type of uh, operators like arithmetic operators, assignment operators, comparison operators, logical operators, and bitwise operator. So, what is the arithmetic operator? Those are the arithmetic operators for doing the arithmetic, so accepting the arithmetic function that is plus minus. It's uh, that the start it is into division modulus plus plus that is the uh, increment and the minus minus that is the decrement. Okay, so basically, we, um, for the addition and uh, subtraction and multiplication, we, we all know, and the division also. And uh, what is the function of that modulus? Do, uh, do you know that what is the modulus modulus operator? Remainder for remainder. Yeah, it is for the remainder. It will it will show you the remainder. And the plus plus increment and the decrement operator. So we will see that that the addition that The here we have uh, take, a, uh, take a variable that is integer that and we have uh, named it as a sum one equals to and the value that we have given 100 plus 50. First of all, sum two, sum that is plus 250, and the sum three equals to sum two plus sum two. That's how we are doing that addition. Do you understand what I'm telling uh, trying to tell uh, you or what I'm trying to understand you? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Integer sum here. I am uh, I am taking a variable, it is integer, then I am uh, assigning a name that is sum one. Sum one. And that I'm assigning a value is hundred, and I am using that arithmetic operators is plus that for doing that addition. Then the what is what will be the output? It will be one fifty. One fifty. In then there another line we have taken another variable is and I have named that is sum two, and instead of that value we are assigning the sum one. Sum one. one. Plus we are adding that two fifty. Then what will be the answer? One fifty. Four hundred. Four hundred. And another line we are doing the uh, another variable we are taking as integer and the naming as say, sum three and we are adding the sum two and the plus sum sum two and what is the value of sum two? Four hundred. Four hundred. So the answer will be eight hundred. Eight hundred. Yes, that is for the addition. That's uh, how you can do the uh, do, uh, subtraction and multiplication and the division also. Should I need to show you that how to do that uh, the subtraction and the multiplication and the division? Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, should I need to show you that the like addition, subtraction, multiplication, the division, all are that like same? No, sir. Should I need no, to sir. show? Okay. okay. No, sir. So we are going to the modulus. So modulus is the basically is for the reminder for taking for any kind of reminder. Suppose we are dividing five by 
to the reminder what will be the reminder hello sir, can you tell me again uh, if i if i divide 5 by 12 then uh, 5 by 2 then what will be the reminder 5 1 one. Hmm? one. One, sir. One. One. Okay. So that's why we, we are using that modulus function for, for uh, returning the debitor, the reminder. And the main is the main part is the increment and the decrement operator. That double plus and double minus. What is the increment and the de and the decrement operator? Basically, that increment and the decrement operator is used to increment and decrement like here is I am showing that plus double plus x. Suppose we have taken a value of x is like 5. Okay. We are assigning a value of x is 5. Plus plus mean plus means 1. 1 plus x. 1 plus x and we have assigned a value of x is 5. So what will be the answer? 1 plus x. Basically, there is 2 plus. That means instead of 1 plus, we can use as 1. x double plus 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 x equals to 1 plus x. And I'm assigning a value of x is 5. So that the answer will be the 6. Under, understand? Are you understanding? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And like that, uh, minus minus x is the same. We are taking a value of x is 5. And minus minus means 1 minus x. And it 1 minus 5 is 4. That will be the answer. And how increment decrement operator will use for the for loop. Basically, for the for loop, we use that increment and decrement operator. Okay, we will see it later that uh, how to use that uh, increment and decrement. Plus plus yes, we can write. Plus yes, yes. So we will see that in the loop uh, when we will do that loop function, then we will understand that uh, operators better. And here is an uh, another operator is addition assignment operators is plus equals to what is the plus equals to x plus equals to five means what x is equal to x plus five yes x equals to x plus five and integer x uh, suppose we have taken a variable that is x and when assign a value of ten. And in the second line, we are doing that x plus equals to 5 means x equals to x plus 5. x equals to x plus 5. Understand? Yes, okay. sir. Yeah. And the answer will be? Sorry to repeat. We have taken a variable, integer variable, and we have is x. And we have assigned a value is 10. In the second line, we are using that assignment operator is plus equals to. Like previous, there is like plus plus operator, the minus minus operator, increment and the decrement operator. Here is like plus equal to operator. Okay. Plus equal to operator, basically how it does, x equals to integer x is 10 and x plus equals to 5, it means I am overwriting the value of x is x equals to x plus 5. Yes, the, the final value is 15. The final value, then the final value will be the x equals to x plus 5. Uh, do you understand? Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Value of x is 15. Yeah. So the value of x is 5. In the second line, we are assigning that x plus equals to 5. So actually, it will, it will work like x equals to x plus 5. And the, what is the value of x? x equals to x. What is the value of x we have assigned previously? 10. No, I'm yeah, in the that I am doing that, that I'm doing. 
not in that uh, what file second line sir ek to noise asche noise asche kemon noise bolo kono rakham noise kono asche dekha 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 please ignore that noise and try to concentrate on that okay uh, so x equals to we have we have take a value of x equals to 5 in the second line we are doing that x plus equals to 5 basically what is the x plus equals to 5 is that means we can write it like that also that is x equals to x plus 5 x plus equals to 5 and the x equals to x plus 5 both are the same okay but this plus equals to is that operator that is an assignment operator this is the way that in java we have assigned a value this is the we use that assignment operator in the some in the programming language we cannot use that x equals to x plus 5 yes we can use in the some you know for some reasons in some place so we we didn't use that x equals to x plus 5 that time we need to use that operator plus equals to okay so and so basically the x plus equals to 5 and the x equals to x plus 5 is same so what will be the actual answer what is x equals to x plus 5 means what is the value of x value of x is 5 plus 5 then what will be the answer x equals to 10 understood yes sir Okay, everyone. Anyone? Any? Any others? Any? 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 One? Any problem? Yes, sir. Got it. Got it. Look, like the same. Yeah, equals to operator. We all know that x equals to five. We all know that equal to operator. Plus equals to x plus equals to three. That means x equals to x plus three. Minus equals to means x equal x minus equals to three means x equal to x minus three, like the same. Okay. Okay, sir. Those are the assignment operator. This is an operator and operator. Okay. and operator we will learn that later there is a three operator is like and or not okay when we will the, do that and or not then i will tell you that for the timing you just remember that there is an and equals to operator is also available and that you know, pipe sign is the not operator not equals to operator is also available for the timing because uh, if i tell you right now then you will get confused when we will do that and or not then i will tell you what is that and or not and what is the use of that operator okay and that double equals to it will check it will check that x double equals to y is double equals to means suppose we have assigned integer uh, a uh, integer i or something like wait we have i Okay, any kind of just a minute, just a minute. If I
what is the double equals to double equals to is basically like suppose we have take a value of x is 2 and the value of y is 3 it will check uh, check that the value both of both the value are equal or not 2 and 3 are equal no sir no so it will return 0 that means that is the return 0 means the it will return false and not equals to is like same okay uh, but it will return the opposite answer it is suppose we have take that value is no x is value is 2 and the value of y is 3 and yeah, when i am checking that x not equals to y that means x is no x and y is not equal that x is 2 and y is 3 when i am checking that is x not equals to y that means both the value are not same it will return what? yes true. it will return true. True, true yeah here we are checking the value that double equals to is the value is same if the value is same, then it will return a zero means false. False. If the value is same, then it will return one. If the value is not same, not same then it, it will return, return zero. zero. Then that means mm -hmm. the value is false. Like that in the not equal is uh, like I'm, I'm asking is the value of X and the value of Y is not equal is not equal i'm telling that that x and the value of x and the value of y is not equal is it right then it will return yes not equal uh, it is right then true if it is equal then it will return false yeah and the greater than greater than is a, is basically which one is the bigger than greater like suppose it's x value is 2 and y value is 3 x is greater than y no sir no, that means it is false. Like less than, same. And the greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. What is the difference? What is that greater than or equal to? It will check that uh, x and y, the value of x and the value of y is equal or greater. Greater. If equal or greater, uh, it will uh, show true. True. If it is not equal or greater, then if it, it will show false. Like less than or equal to is like same. X is less than equals to Y. If the value of X is the less than Y and the equal or the equal to Y, it have to be less than or have to or be equal. equal then it will return true otherwise it will return false again i am telling what is the greater than or equal to suppose we are taking a value of x is 5 and value of y is 6 we are checking that that a value of x is greater than y or no, equals to y no if it is no, then it will return false. If it is yes, then it will return true. It have to be the bigger one or the equal one. Hmm. You, it have to be equal or it have to be greater. If it is became smaller or less than, then it will return false. In that greater than equal to. Okay, it have to be greater or have to be equal. It should not be less than. It should be, it have to be greater or have to be equal to, equal. Understand? Are you understand? Are you understanding? Yes. Hello? Yes. So what is the greater than and equal to? It have to be the value of it. Have to be greater than y or equal to y. That means that's the thing. That's why that's what that concern uh, is. We use that greater than equal to operator. And less than or equal to operator is like the value of A have to be less than Y or have to be equal to Y. Okay. It will check the condition that the value of X is 
less than y or equal to y. If any one condition is met, then it will become true. Okay. Or if, if the any or any one condition is if any condition is not matched with that, then uh, then it will return false. Understood, na? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, please let me know if you are not on get uh, if, if you are not getting it, please let me know. Then I will explain it uh, in uh, another time. No problem. So that logical operator that is the name is logical operator that is the and or and not. what is the use of this three operator basically it is also for checking the condition like logical operator is and in the and suppose when uh, we will uh, we will use that and operator like it will return true if both statements are true. Like here it is saying that x less than 5 and x less than 10. Suppose we are taking a value of x is 6. Okay. Suppose we are taking a value of x is 6. And we are checking that condition that value of x is less than 5. Is the value of x is less than 5? We have take a value of x is 6. Is the no, value sir, no, of sir. x is less than 5? No, sir. And it will check another condition that is the value of x is less than 10. Yes. 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 No. Double M. It is equal to this is the we there is the different use of single yes. so here we are con checking that condition in that and operator it have to be satisfied both the statements like if the value of x have to be greater than 5 and have to be greater than 10 also then it will return true if any of the condition is became false if any of the condition became false then it will return false yes suppose like uh, that uh, how could i uh, give an example like we are checking suppose we have take a value of x is four we are checking that country checking the condition that value of x is less than five yes please Again, now we are checking that value of x is less than 10. It's also true. Both the statements is became satisfied, then it then will, it will true. return true. True. But in the logical or operator, any of any one of the both of the in the in uh, from that statement, if any one of any one of statement is became true, then it will return true. Any of any one of like. We are checking that condition that value of x is less than 5. Suppose we have to take a value of x is 6. No, sir. And the value of x, are we, another again, are we are checking or we have the value of x is less than 4. It's true. Then it will return. Any of the true. statement is became true, yeah. then it will return true. Any of them statement. Suppose either x uh, is less than 5 or x is less than 4. Any of the statement is become true, it will return true. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes. The value of x is less than 5. Four. If the answer is true, then the answer is true. It's like a value now. It's like a value now. Three now. The value of X is less than five. Yes. Two. Two answer. Then it will return two. Suppose. 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 Suppose.
Suppose uh, in instead of four, you take it take here uh, seven, or you can uh, you can uh, the in enhance the form uh, instead of that less than you change the operator to the greater than. That value of x is have to be less than five, or half n, or less than uh, or greater than four or three. Then, if any one of the condition is become true, then it will return true. And the logical not operator, it will return the reverse. Reverse the result, return false. If the result is true, it will return the opposite. It will return you the opposite result. If the condition is become true, then it will return false. Uh, if your condition is become false then it will return true like yes, like this is the that the that the operator is not operator logical not operator that we are checking not x less than 5 and x less than 10 both if the both of the condition is become the like suppose we have take a value of uh, x is uh, x is 4 okay, okay x4 4 is less than 5 yes true and the value of four x is 4 then 4 is less than 10 also both the condition and here we are using that and operator logical and operator it in between that condition should look so that means both the statement have to be true or both the statement have to be false okay then it will return the opposite answer value of x suppose we have taking a value of x is 4 so we are checking the condition that value of x is 4 4 is less than 5 yes true and 4 is less than 10 yes that's also true both the statement is true then it will return false okay understood thank you to repeat that logical not operator will return you. This is the this is the logical not operator. Okay, this is this is the sign of logical not operator. And how to use that logical not operator? Like that, we need to use the mention that operator here, logical not. Within that bracket, we need to assign the condition. That is the condition is x is less than five. Yes. And operator we need to use that and operator also that x is less than 10 yes both are true both are true that means it will return false false it will it will answer you the opposite answer if your answer if your result is true then it will return false if you it is your result is false then it will return true understood yes sir. yes, yes. that string what is the string we have told you already that is the within the double quote whatever we are writing that is the string what is the string a string variable contains a collection of characters surrounded by double quote that we have uh, that i have told you in this session. that within the double quotes whatever we are writing that it will accept as a string within the double quote instead of hello if we write that 10 1 0 10 it will accept also it will also accept as a string then it will not it will be a number okay then within the double quote we have to whatever we are writing it will take as a string instead of hello we have if we write that 500 or 1000 1, then it will be also become a string In the string, in the string, there is a function, is length, string length dot length. How to use that? Suppose we have create, a, we have take a variable is string. Okay. Hello, are you listening? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. yes sir. We, have take a, we have take a variable string, and we have name a variable. We name that variable as text. Txt. 
we have assigned the value we have assigned the value within the double quotes a b c up to a to z now we want to know what is the length what is the length of that x t x t variable what is the length for that we need to use that well we just need to do that that system dot outer print ln for printing anything we are writing for just we are passing a message that within the double quotes the length of the text is within the double quotes whatever it will print the same plus plus mean that is the symbol of concatenate yeah that's the symbol of concatenate we are concatenate concatenate that with the we are calling that txt variable string variable that the name is txt dot that dot length we want to know the length of the txt variable then we need to call the name first that is the name of the variable is txt then dot length sir apna voice break ho chhe सिग्नेचर हाउ टू राइट वॉट इज दिग्नेचर फॉर फॉर knowing the length you need to call the variable name first then you need to use the dot operator then you need to write that length and the first bracket and the second bracket okay then it will return you the result that what is the length of that text txt variable if we want to know the length of that variable particular any any variable then we need to write If you can, you can skip that part also. That within the double quote, we have write that uh, that the length of the uh, txt string is. We can skip that also because we have just used that. That when it will the it will tell you the result. How could I know that uh, that we are passing the message that the length of the txt string is that what is the what will be the string is a b c d one a to z the length of that. particular string it will print as a number okay yes sir and uh, like length if you want to suppose you have to you have take a variable is string txt equals to within the double quotes is hello world suppose if you want to change it but you want you don't want to erase it just you want to change it by using any kind of method if you want to change it to the upper case or to the lower case that only the hello world in, from the hello world if you see that only the h and the w only it will it is on the upper case and the rest of rest is the rest is in the uh, lower case lower case lower case so we want to print the whole hello world in upper case or in the lower case for that We need to write that system dot out dot print ln. Then the name of that variable is txt. Then the dot to upper case. Then the first bracket, second bracket close. Or the if we want to make it in the lower case, then system dot out dot print ln txt dot to lower case. Then it will return. It will return you the in the hello world will be in the lower case like. The output will be that that the lower case is the hello world and the upper case lower case. Okay, understand? Yes, but sir. You have to mention. Yes, that, yes, but it is uh, Java is very case sensitive. You have to when you are using that method, you have to mention name of that variable first, then the dot operator, then the the method name that is to upper case. Then you have to open and close that first and second bracket. Okay. And whenever we are uh, printing anything within the system dot out dot printer, and we are using, 
but whatever we want to print or as it uh, whatever it is a string or a variable or a method or anything that we are want to print first of all we need to mention uh, that within that first bracket and open bracket close within that we need to mention that variable name then the upper dot operator then the method name with uh, first bracket open bracket close then the semicolon termination sir i have a doubt yeah sir yeah yeah uh, why we use uh, in previous class or concatenate yeah class and concatenate is basically yes. this, this one na sir yes sir suppose suppose just forget about the length okay for that for that time we forget about the length method okay suppose we have take a variable is string and we are assigning the txt and we are here i am writing my name whatever my name is okay so when we are printing that txt variable it will only print suppose we are uh, printing the system dot out dot print ln and within that bracket we are just passing that txt so what will it uh, what it will return whatever the value you have given you have assigned to the txt it will print the same thing. right yes sir so so it will it will just so it will just print the name only it will just print the name only and whom the name is uh, name was the is a kiska name suppose we want to tell we want to show the user that suppose my name is i want to print that message also with that value of that txt we want to message before the value of that txt variable we want to print a message that my name is that something like the whatever the value of txt is. okay suppose we have write that john we have write john txt value is john so before the value of the txt printing we want to show a message that my name is then we want to print that name john so for that reason we are passing that message we want when we are knowing the we want to know the length so what is suppose we if we if we pass without that if we suppose if we erase that okay no problem okay we have erased that if we print it it will only show you the length only the length only the what is the length of that particular txt txt it will only show you the length how user will know it will it will like a, a 10 or 12 or 13 or 14 whatever the answer whatever the length will be it will print the length but how user will know so for that for user help we want to pass a message so user can understand what I am passing. So by giving a message that is the the, that is the length of the text string is, then we are printing the length of the txt. So when you, we want to print both the thing, a message and the length, both the thing we want to print together, so we need to concatenate that we need to add both the both we need to add add the message and the length if we want to print both in a way uh, both together then we do we need to concatenate that otherwise it will not uh, it will not show like the proper message that the length of the uh, txt string is the length for that reason, we are concatenating, concatenating that with the length, we are concatenating that message that the length of the PST string is this. Then we are showing you the result that the length is like 10, 12, or 15. Understood? Yes, sir.
like here we are doing also the addition you all know the addition like we have take a very very variable integer x equals to 10 integer y equals to 20 and another variable we have take is z and we are passing the we are adding the variable into the z is x plus y and the answer will be the value of z will be 30 and all know that it is a simple And look, here we have take that E. That is why it is adding 10 plus 20 to 30. But here we have take the string. Yeah. That time it will not, the result will not be the 30. Because uh, I have told, uh, told you that within the double quotes, whatever we are writing, it will accept as a string and we can't add a string so it will return 10 20. One zero two zero. yeah so you got the type casting use for the thing yeah we are using the type casting yeah? There is some math function in Java also, like max, mean, okay, square, like suppose we want to uh, that math dot near max x and y method can be used to find the highest value of x and y. Suppose we have assigned math dot max within the bracket. This is a method, okay. The right syntax and this five and ten is called is parameter, okay. Hello. Are yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the math, math dot max, math dot max is a predefined or inbuilt method of Java. How can I? Uh, how can I use that method? And. Uh, sir, so it's method or function. Method or function in, in uh, both are like same. Method and function we see we call it function in Java we call it method. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what is the map dot max and x and y? The right syntax of writing a method is whatever it uh, whatever the suppose x equals to 10 is a method name is your method name and the correct syntax is like that when you will declare a method that met that declaration will be like that that the method can and the yeah and that first bracket and open bracket close that symbol okay within that first bracket and open uh, first bracket open close you need to pass the parameter the value or the value you need to pass Otherwise, how it will check the what is the value in uh, in what in between we want to check the value that which one is the the max, which one is the biggest or the which one is the highest. For that, we are when we are using that math uh, max to, uh, math dot max method. Within that, we are passing that two parameters, that is five and ten. Then what is the what is the use of that max parameter? It will just simply Ten. view that which one is the highest, that whatever Ten. value is highest. Ten. It will tell you 10. Like that, math.max by same as math.min. It will uh, show you the lowest number. Like math.max is showing you the highest number, math.min will show you the lowest value. Noise of say, someone have unmute. Please, sir, we have unmute.
mute yourself so like that max it is used the means say that's like same but it will return the lowest uh, that max method it will return the highest value and the mean method it will return the lowest value okay understood yes sir okay and another function here is is the max dot s q r t is the square root of square root x, square root of x so like that we are using that same method like that we are uh, that we for that reason math dot square root and uh, this is the you don't you don't need to mention that square root the whole word but just sqrt you need to mention that is the inbuilt inbuilt function or the inbuilt method whatever you can say that method or a function within the bracket you need to pass the parameter or the value it's 64 that and what will be the answer eight yes eight will be the answer the 64 square root of uh, 64 is eight eight yeah that's the math function there's three math function which have in the input function which is in the function in java so we are moving forward to the java if else java supports the usual logical condition from mathematics less than less than or equal to greater than and greater than or equal to equal to not equal to we have learned about that and in java there is some statement if statement else statement else if statement and the switch statement if what is the mean of if condition that is the condition if if it is true then print that if it is not true so then it will not print it will black of course yeah. and what is the use of if and else condition is true if statement yes, uh, if it is false, other than else is uh, uh, print uh, else. Suppose you have two conditions. If this condition is uh, false, then go to the else. Else is your uh, if your condition is true, then if, if you if your condition is not true, then else. Yes, like. Use if to specify a block of code to execute if a specified condition is true. It will execute a block of code if the specified condition is true, then the block of code will be executed. What is the use of else? To specify a block of code to be executed if the same condition is false. And the like else if and switch case. So let's see what is the if statement. Use the if statement to specify a block of Java code to execute it if a condition is true. What is the condition? How you can use that if condition? If case, if. First of all, you need to use that if. Okay. Then within the bracket, we are assigning two value. We are assigning the condition. If 20 greater than 18, then we need to write that, that within the curly bracket. This is the, uh, the if statement block. That is the block. We are creating a block by, by using that curly braces open close. We need to open that. First of all, you need to write that if. Then within the bracket, you need to assign the, you need to give that condition. What condition you want to check? If 20 greater than 18, then within the block, you, you have right system.out.println 20 is greater than, greater 18. than 18. If 20 is greater than 18, 
then only it will print the 20 is greater than 18. If the value of 18 is 22, then what will be the output? Twenty is greater than eighteen. No, why? Is the twenty is greater than twenty-two? No, no sir. Less no, than sir. twenty-two. Uh, if uh, if we no, are checking then the 20. condition. Only if the condition is true, then only it will print within the block whatever you have printed. Okay, this is the if block. This is the block. That is the condition. Hmm? No, no, two false. Within the block, within the curly brace, see, within the curly braces, that what, what we are uh, returning system dot out dot print element and 20 is greater than 82. But the condition is what is the condition 20 greater than 22? No, the condition is written false, it will not print that line 20 greater than 82. If we instead of the 22, if we give 15, then what will be the answer? 20 is greater than 18. Yes. Than the, that uh, 18, no, sorry, 15. So that, uh, that, no, it will be 18 because in the system that outdoor print element, we have write that 20 is greater than 18. Oh, but yeah. in the condition, we have that mentioned that 20 is greater than 15. But in the system that outer children, what we are printing that is 20 is greater than 18. If the condition is become true, then it will then only it will print that 20 is greater than 18. Otherwise, it will not print that line. Understood? Yes. So if this is an example, we are taking a variable, integer variable x equals to 20 integer variable y equals to 18. If x is greater than y, then print x is greater than y. Okay. Okay. If the x is greater than y, then it will print x is greater than y. And the else statement. Use the else statement to specify a block of code to be executed if the condition is false. Use the else statement to specify a block of code to be executed if the condition is false. So let's try. In the previous one, we are using only that if statement. If the condition is true, then print only that Suppose we have to uh, take an integer, integer time equals to 20. If time less than 18, the value of time is 20. Instead of 20, we are directly using that variable name. We can use that easily. Understood now? It is uh, actually, it will, it will become, it will confuse you, but it will, it, you have to understand that. That we are take, uh, take a variable is integer time equals to 20. And we are um, we are assigning a condition. If time less than eighteen, then it will print system dot out dot print ln good day. In the what is the value of time? Actually, see the value. What I am trying to ask. What is the condition? Actually, try to understand. We are directly instead of that value twenty, we are using that variable name is time. So we are checking the condition that time less than 18 is the time is less than 18. Oh. If the time is less than 18, then system dot out dot print ln goodbye. Good. Goodbye. In the uh, previous we are only using that if. Here we are using that else also. So what is the use of else? If the statement is become true, then only we are printing that system dot out dot print ln good day. Yeah. Other way, it will not printing anything. Printing. Or printing another message, we are using that else. Else. If the condition is true, then it will print that. If the condition is false, then it will come to the else, else block. And it will print good evening. Good evening. So, 
the timing is 20 time is 20 20 is not less than 18 that means it will print good evening good evening okay understood now any any problem yes sir in the if else if else statement hello yes understand sir yeah, yeah. yeah. others yes sir yes okay. you need to say now that you are understanding or not otherwise how should i understand that you are getting that okay so another statement is else if we have done previously if else here we will do if else if then again else use the else if statement to specify a new condition if the first condition is false so how to use that directly see the example so you can understand better if time less than 10 integer time equals to 22 if time less than 10 system dot out dot print tell good morning else if the time is less than 20 then system dot out dot print tell good day else system dot out dot print tell good evening basically we are giving more option, more condition. Okay, understood. Yes, sir. If time is greater than ten, if the time is the value of twenty two is less than ten, please it will skip that if part. Again, it will go to else if part. When that condition is become false, then it will become the it will come to the else if part. Then again, if we check that uh, the else if condition, if the time is less than 20. No, sir. No. Again, it will uh, leave that path. Again, it will check that there is an, another else. And what it is printing, it is here is here is no condition. So if both the condition is become false, then we are printing that else path. Directly there, here we are not uh, giving any condition. Directly we are printing the system dot out of print and good evening. Understood. Basically, in the previous one, we are using one condition. Here we are using two conditions. You can use more condition also. Okay. Else if, if time is less than 10. Then print this. Else, if time is less than twenty, print this. Else, if time less than fifteen, print this. Yeah. Understood, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. This is the shorthand. Basically, this is the shorthand. Simple. So instead, we are previously what we are writing. Basically, this is the shorthand mean. Previously, we are writing in one, two, three, four, five lines of code. Instead of writing five lines of lines of code, we are writing like integer time equals. We are taking a variable in name of variable name is time we are assigning a 20 that we all know if condition if time is less than 18 then print this else we are else print good evening but instead of writing five lines of code we can write it this way also so it will increase two lines of code. how we are writing we have take a variable first of all we have take a variable integer variable is time and the value is string. String result equals to 
time less than 18 asking mark that means check the condition asking mark that is questioning is the time is less than 18 if the time is less than 18 then print the result and the, what we are printing system dot out of print and result this is the basically shorthand but we uh, basically we don't use that shorthand but i have been i never have never used that shorthand okay so you can for your help you can use it so do you understand string result string another we have uh, first of all we have take a variable is int another variable is string we are taking and the name of that variable is result within the variable instead of using if we are using that condition directly that is that within the one line within the bracket we are giving the condition that time is less than 18 asking mark then within the double quotes good day if the time is less than 18 then print good day if the time is not less than 18 then good evening here, here, here. yes we, we are using that you are see the third line basically this is all this is the we are checking all the condition instead of using the if else statement okay what what is the difference between that suppose look in time equals to 20 if time is less than 18 system dot outbound print l and good day else system dot outbound print l and good evening here instead of using if else we are using some shorthand method and what is that we are taking that integer time 20 and another variable within that variable directly we are giving the condition and asking that the time is less than 18 if the time is less than 18 print good day and good evening and in the system dot out dot print ln we are directly calling that result variable string result variable understood or not yes sir everyone others Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the yes, sir. shorthand method. Within that variable, here we are using if else, but we are using that within a variable. We are directly giving that condition and asking that is the time is less than 18. If the time is less than 18, then directly print the good day. Otherwise, it will print the good evening. And the, for printing, what so we need to use always we need to use the print method now. That is the system dot out dot print element within the bracket. We are directly putting that result variable. Okay. Okay, sir. Understood everyone? Any problem? Anyone? Please let me know if you are getting or if you are not getting that, please let me know so I can explain that uh, explain again. Everyone, anyone, any getting now? Nah, everyone, yes, sir. Okay. So, like the if else statement, if else if and uh, else statement, here is another one is Java switch case. This is the basically switch case instead of using that if else if else if that previously I was telling that you have that. Uh, if, if you can use more than one, two, three, four, uh, else if. So instead of using that else if, else if, else if, else if, this is the another case that is the switch case. So, how we can use that switch case? That it will be there, we can give a multiple condition and it will check the condition. It will, it will switch, it will switch till the condition is became, uh, till the condition is become true, it will switch to the another condition so let's take this is the example suppose
this is x integer day we have take a integer day equal to 4 and the we are using the switch method switch case actually basically this is the switch case okay and switch and we are passing the variable name of the variable within the bracket we are passing the variable okay that is day and we need to open a block we need to create a block of switch case so we need to create uh, we need to give that curly braces open and at the end is curly braces close okay With, uh, within that block we need to mention the case case one case one and case one is system dot out dot print and monday then break case two System dot out dot print ln system break case three system dot out dot print ln wait next day then break case four system dot out dot print ln first day break case five system dot out dot print ln Friday break case six Saturday case seven Sunday break and we have mentioned the condition actually basically it is here we are passing the condition it will match the day what is the value of day actually by calling that day by giving the day we are calling the value of that day variable is four so we are giving here we have created seven case but it will return only the mention case that is the day the value of day is what is four that the value of day is four thursday then it will print only the first system dot out the print ln thursday then break why it is break otherwise if we don't use that break okay then after that from the thursday it will print the whole thursday friday saturday sunday so that is why we are using that break. Okay. So basically, case four. Case case is the predefined word. These are keyword. Okay, case four actually case the day. What is the day? Oh. No, what is the day that I have mentioned within the after switch? I have within the first bracket. I have mentioned day. What is day? Day is the name of that variable, and the value of the variable is four. Four. So it will it is taking which is looking for the four that the day day is and the four both are the same instead of day if we can now write four also okay okay you can write anything within that you can write anything you can give the variable name or you can give any value also so switch switch to up to what switch up to day and the day is four switch up to four that the case is switch switch up to four it will switching to the next switching to the next up to the four it will looking for the four when it will get the four it will simply print the value of four instead of that the day four if we write seven then the value became changed the value of days became changed then it will not print that thursday then it will checking it will switching within that value that is one two three four five six seven it will up check up to the seven when it will get that seven it will print the value of case seven this sunday understood everyone Sir, it, is hai, it will it will print undefined a default issue as well Mm. Okay. Default or uh, default, we can use that default function. Use this uh, letter. Look, this is the break. 
that uh, that whoever is asking that we what is the default method that is the default keyword we are coming to that before that we let us see what is the break keyword that we are uh, that i am telling you when java receives the break keyword it break out of the switch block this will stop the execution of more code and case testing inside the block when a match is found and the job is done it is time for a break there is no need for more testing a break can save a lot of execution time because it removes the execution of all the rest of all code in the switch block. When Java reaches the break keyword, Java when Java reaches the break, it break out the all the switch. When it getting that value or what it when it is it was looking for the four or the it was looking for the five. When it is getting that four or five, it have to be break. Otherwise, if we don't use that break, it will continuously taking, continuously taking. Okay. Then this will stop the execution. This is that break keyword is stop the execution because it has already get that value. It has already get that four, and the value of four and the five already it have already get that four and five. So we don't need to. It don't need to check the another. Or anything because he, whatever he, uh, he was looking for, he have got it. He was looking for four, he got the four. After getting the four, he didn't know he don't need to check anything else. So we need to break it, break the execution, and simply print the result. When a match found, the job is done. So no need to check anything. Though no need to check the another condition. No need to go anywhere because he got the who whatever uh, he was looking for. He got that. So the job is done. The break can save lot of execution time because it ignores the execution of all the rest of the code in the switch block. Understood? What is the use of break? Understood, everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Someone is asking the default keyword. If we, if we uh, give a value less than a uh, sorry greater than seven, then what it will print? It will print undefined. Otherwise, you can mention as default. That is a default keyword. Right? Like case seven. We are writing case one, case two, case three, case four. How many you want to give? You have give the case. After that, after end of your case, suppose maybe user is uh, maybe user is in inputting the wrong something wrong like which is more than seven. Then what it uh, something to something to return now? Uh, you have to return something to the user that are you uh, you return uh, please type a valid word please write a valid key or something you need to return you need to or suppose maybe the user cannot understand is not getting uh, not able to understand that what to put or anything for that reason after the case 7 we are making a default default if anyone is uh, giving input is more than 7 then print that default and within that default system got out of print element looking forward to the weekend or we can uh, you, you you can give any message you can give any message that uh, that uh, that weekday we are looking for that is not available or the please uh, enter a valid case or a please enter a valid value between one to seven we can give any message so user can understand that so what kind of value and uh, what is the range what is the between what between the range of the value that is need to be uh, give input so we are using the default that is the system dot out dot printer within we are passing the that message understood understood whoever is asking yes. that default yes sir yeah no, don't out no? yes sir yes no doubt, no? Okay. So, 
Yeah, you are you guys are noting down now that the code and all. Otherwise, you will not get uh, go able to practice that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or you guys can do. You guys are online from the laptop or mobile. You can uh, take the screenshot also, so you can practice it. Uh, practice it later. Just because we are not practicing, because we don't have that much of time, so I am just giving you the concept so you can practice it at your home. In in the next day, if you are getting any problem or if you are facing any problem in um, practicing, then please tell me. Then I will try to solve that problem. Okay. Okay, sir. So uh, have you? Sir, um, your valuable. Yes, 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 yes. Hello. Sorry, your voice is breaking. Oh, I am just looking. I am the integer valuable. No string. It is. I am all like I am going to. Uh, you can give the string. Suppose you are instead of int, you take the string, and the value have to be the string. And here you also have to mention any kind of string. Suppose you have uh, take a string. Uh, suppose you have take a cat. Okay, cat day equals to d. We can take yes and switch day. And within that case, instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, just because the value of d uh, day is d, that means you have to mention here like a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h. Okay. Like that, if you are taking any string, suppose you have take a string, uh, string name, and uh, you have uh, pass the value. As uh, the value is your name, and you have switch, then the variable name or the value you can pass. Either you can pass the name of the variable, or you can pass the value of that variable. Value of the variable. So after that case, you need to suppose uh, like uh, the name. In the case one, you have mentioned one name. Another case, you have mentioned another name. When it will get the name, then it will print that your name is that is that is your name. Understood? Yes. So, uh, anyone is left be behind that uh, need to note down the code or take the screenshot so you can practice it. I need to go anywhere so because we don't have that much time because it's already three thirty six. Because within the the within the one month we need to we have to I have to complete the code Java part, HTML five CSS and others. So we need to progress faster. So that is why we are we are not practicing it because these all are the simple simple code. You can practice it it in yourself. You can do a lots of experiment by watching internet or YouTube. There are lots of program is available. If you are getting any problem, if you are facing any problem in the next day, in the next session, tell me, share your screen, show me the problem. I will try to solve the problem. Anyone uh, no, 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 want to note down the code or want to take the screen? So just tell me where I need to go. I will go there and then note it down and take the screenshot. Hello. Do I need to go or progress? Uh, go forward. Hello. Do I need to go so you can note it down? Sir, आपने बोला जिन्हें PDF देवेन बोले, sir आपने कथा बोली? ना ना उटा कोई अपने कथा हुआ नहीं। I will give you the PDF after ending the session. After after end all the Java. Okay. Okay, sir. But till Thank now you try to because otherwise, if I give you the or uh, give you all the code in your PDF, then it will it will uh, you will keep it in your laptop or it in your mobile and then you will forget to practice it or you will not practice it. Sir, example uh, interview question no deva kine dabe. Sir, object oriented to dile mane interview question to dile bhalo. Ha, diye do. Also be done. Object oriented programming. I will do one thing. I will suggest you some uh, application, small small application, Android application which you can install in your Android app in Android mobile. There you can get lots of coding 
you can get lots of interview question and all so you can prepare for the interview okay okay sir so uh, anyone want to note down anything or i need to go to go anywhere in the pvs so you can uh, take screenshot or all or you can go sir okay we are entering in the loop in java there are three kind of loop while loop do while loop and the for loop let me show you a diagram i have downloaded you guys for a photo for you guys uh, are you able to see my screen are you uh, are you uh, able to see the diagram of that for loop while loop and the do while loop Yes, sir. So there are three kind of loop. There are three loop. You are not able to see now. Okay. Okay. Let it be. So there are three loop is available in the Java. Java while loop. Nisa, Nisa, can you just erase that? Okay. Thank you. while loop do while loop and the for loop there are three kind of loop so let's see what is the while loop first loop what is the loop loops can execute a block of code as long as specified condition is reached so suppose loop what is the use of loop basically loop is used for um, for doing something for some specific range suppose we want to go up to the 10 suppose someone is try to want to that the person is going up to the 10th standard or the 12th standard so he can he or she can go automatically to the 12th standard till now so after the 12 it will not execute or it will uh, he or she will no, no more progress so we are specifying the range that he will go up to 12 or he will go up to 10 for specifying that particular range we use that loop okay so what is the while loop the while loops throw a block of code as a long as a specified condition is true okay but how we can use that while loop it will check the condition like if we are checking the condition like same in the while loop is checking the condition into that loop look we have taken an integer i is 0 instead of while we are using that if here we are using while loop that if is a condition but while is a loop function in that while we are mentioning that i less than 5 i less than 5 and system dot out dot print tell and what we are printing that i we are printing and look here is the this is the block while loop this is the block of while loop that the curly braces open close within that block you need to write that system dot out dot print l and i and again we are what we are doing that we are using that plus plus increment operator that we have previously we have learned about that plus plus increment operator so we are basically printing that i till kitna dur tak jana hai i less than 5 up to the i less than 5 i it will check the system dot out dot print ln what is the value of i it will be 0 0 0 0 0 it will after the printing it will come here i plus plus that means i plus 1 the value of i is became plus 1 0 plus 1 1 1 1 again 
it will pin it will then it then the value of i is become one then it will come to the loop again what is the no, what is then here here it will check the condition is the i is less than five the value yes. of i is one yes it is less than five again it will print the i two no it will print the one when it the value of i is one it will check the condition that is the i is less than five yes it is yes. the value of i is less than five then it will print that i is one again it will come to that operator i plus plus again it will increase by one then the now the value of i is one and one two. is became two again it will go to that go here that the value becomes integer i equals to two it, it will, will again, go uh, five uh, it will go up to four or up it to will four. Yes. is the i value of i is less than five it will print up to four Four, when yeah. it will became plus one after the four is when it will became i plus one is five the value of i is became five it will check the condition five is less than five no because five and five is equal equal yeah. that means the condition is became false then it will leave that block and stop it will stop the execution it will stop it will print zero one to three four. Yes. Is there any I plus plus that can use here? Ever pull? Because I plus plus that use what? Because while loop er condition diye chhi I less than five. Are er bhetore amra diye chhi system dot out dot print elen ki print kochi I that variable name of that variable the value of I. আমরা প্রিন্ট করতে চাইছি যে আই এর ভ্যালুটাকে তার পরের লাইনে যখন এটা প্রিন্ট করে দিল প্রিন্ট করার পরে এরা কি করছে এখানে আই প্লাস প্লাস করে দিচ্ছে মানে আই প্লাস প্লাস মানে হচ্ছে আই প্লাস ওয়ান ইনস্টিট অফ দ্যাট ইট ইজ বেসিক্যালি আই প্লাস প্লাস মিনস আই প্লাস ওয়ান ইট ইজ ইনক্রিজিং আফটার প্রিন্টিং দ্য ভ্যালু অফ আই it is automatically printing uh, it is automatically increasing the value of i after printing the value of i is zero it will it will print the first it will print the zero then it will come to the i plus plus operator here it will increase by one is what is the value of zero i is zero then it will increase by one zero plus one is one again when it will be the value of i is became one, one. it will come to the now it is the it is not anymore zero it the, the value of i is became one again it will come to the while loop it will the value of i is one one huh? one it will check the condition is the i less than five yes again yes. it will enter into that while block it will print the i value of i again again after printing the value of i it will again come to that increment operator again it will increase by one now one again, plus one one plus one is become two again again it will check is the value of i is two is less than five yes it is less than five again it will print the value of i in the same way we, we will check up to four yes it will check up to the condition is become false why up to four because four is less than five four is less than five by point the value of i is became five is here hmm. then it will check the five with the five the value of pi is the value of i is i is less than pi no no i and pi be same equal equal so it will leave the condition the condition became false so it will go out from the condition understood
that i plus plus increment operator. Yes, sir. Understand. Like like that, we can use that decrement operator also. Like uh, some some noise is coming. I think someone uh, headphone jack is like noising. Now it's okay. Thank you. Uh, so this is this is like this this one like we are doing that i plus plus. We can use that i minus minus also. Right. Hello. Yes. yes sir. How how we can use yes, sir. That? how we can use that? subtracting. Yes. For that timing, here you need to specify the value is the bigger. In the previous one, we are assigning the value was zero. Zero. But we need to specify the value is five. We are assigning a value of five. Okay. And here. Yes. Yeah. And and here we are assigning that the value of i is greater greater than zero. Understood what is yes. the changes I have done? Yes, sir. It will check. First of all, it will i is greater than zero. Yes. Yes. Is greater than zero. It will print five. What is the value of five? I is five. Yes. It five. Is five is greater than zero. It will print the five. Again, it will come to the I minus minus. That means what? I minus, five minus one. one. Five minus one. That means the value is four. Four. It, again, it will check. Is the four is greater than zero? Yes. The four is greater than zero. Again, it will print. Again, it will come to the decrement operator. I minus one, four minus one is three. Again, it will check. Is the three is greater, uh, greater than zero? Yes, three is greater than zero. Up to the zero, the value, uh, value of I is became zero. It will go. When the value of I is became zero, it will check the condition. Zero is greater than zero, no. That means the condition is became false. Okay. Yes. Understood, everyone. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Sir, how the condition is false? Look now. So if when the condition is became i, i the value of i is become zero, then it will become zero. Otherwise, if you can, you can instead of zero, it will it is getting confused. You then you can write one. When the value of i is became one, it will check the condition that the value of i is one is greater than uh, one. No, it the value of uh, i is the value of one is not greater than one. It is equal or it is same. So the uh, the condition is became uh, false. Sir, now it is okay, sir, because uh, that yeah, time yeah. it was zero. Yeah, that time it was zero. It was getting confused. So uh, that is why I have changed that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that to rectify that mistake. Thank you. Uh, is it uh, understood now? That kind uh, of that increment decrement operator that is the most important operator in the for loop in the Java programming because in the Java without loop you can do nothing if you are not getting the loop properly then you are not able to do the coding okay so try to understand the loop that three loop that while do while and the for loop basically mostly the for loop you need to understand perfectly not properly on perfectly you have to understand otherwise in java you can't do the programming Okay, so try to understand that loop function and that increment and the decrement operator. Okay. So the next is the do while and the do while loop is the last topic today for today because for loop is the most important loop. So 
in the next session we will start from the for loop okay so the do while loop the do while loop is a variant of a while loop the loop will execute the code block once before checking if the condition is true then it will repeat the loop as long as the condition is true so basically what is what it is saying the do while loop is a variant of while loop okay the loop will execute the code of block once before checking it will do first then it will check the condition understood are you getting it will do do that while that condition is that understand getting getting are you getting hello yes sir yes sir yes sir look first the block is do you need to do while do the, do this like if else if this then write then then print this else print this like here yes you just directly see the example so you can understand that properly that we have take a variable int i equals to 0 do system dot out dot print ln i and we are printing that i plus plus why while i is less than 5 do money we want to print i till i is less than 5 print the value of i till we are check giving the condition here first do this up to the the value of i is less than 5 in the previous one in the while loop what we are doing we are giving directly giving that and we are just printing that right yes but in the do while first of all we need to mention what to do do system dot out dot print ln i print the i then it increase the value and we are increasing the value that using the i plus plus while i less than five the value of i is till the value of i is became less than five till you do the printing the value of i by increasing increasing plus by one yes so int i equals to zero do system dot out of print ln i it will print i i plus plus then okay i plus plus zero plus one that means i plus plus means i the one value plus one. Zero, zero plus one so okay while then it will after printing that block of code it will come to that while block it will print the while block in the while block when they are they are, when it is entering the while block here huh? yeah when after printing first it will print the value of because system dot out and will look system dot out dot print ln i before that increment operator using increment operator you we are printing that i then after printing the value of i we are increasing the value of i by one after after printing we are uh, increasing the value of i after increasing the value of i it will enter in the while block when it is entering the while block here it he is he is seeing that there is a con condition then what is the condition the condition is i is the i is less than 5 if the i is less than 5 it will again go to the do part again it will check that oh, okay what is the value of i is now 1 okay then print one then print again, one print one again it will increase okay increase. after printing it will see okay i need to increase by one okay then plus one one plus one two, two. again it will enter the while loop again yeah. it will check it will check in okay i need to check myself that i am uh, less than five 
when it your condition is become true again it will come to do again it will print the two the value of i is given to they will print the two again it will increase by one like that it will uh, it the pro the processing will be happen till the value of i is became or uh, it is Four. getting uh, it is became the equals to five because when the value of i is became five then it became equal then it will stop the execution why five said i less than five yeah why i less than five so it's still uh, first bit it will print the out uh, numbers and then they uh, it will go to condition yeah it will first print the uh, print the output the value of i it will print the value of i first then it will entering to the condition after entering the condition then it is increasing by 1 because i plus plus means i the value of i plus 1 whatever the value of i is became e plus 1 it is increasing then it is again entering the while part in the when it is entering the while plus it is checking that the value of i is less than 5 yes then if the value of i is less than 5 then it is again go to the do part okay do i need to print it okay printing i again i need to increase it okay i am increasing it again i need to enter to the while part okay let enter okay here is the condition okay let's check the condition if the condition is became true okay again i need to do that printing okay let print up to the condition is became false it will continue printing when the condition is became false it will stop the printing any doubt hello no sir no sir everyone is getting the what is the while loop and yes, sir. how we are uh, in, in increasing and the decrement that's how we uh, do i need to tell you that the decrement i minus minus like that the, in the while part i have tell you that the i minus minus eta it is getting that eta shuru korte 1 2 3 4 5 eta shuru koro to 5 3 2 1 0 okay so note it down note it down and try to practice it i am not doing that uh, coding practically because this is the small small coding if i uh, show you the coding by doing all the code by written in the id then it will take time better you practice it in your self in your house if you are getting or you are facing any problem in the next session before starting the session you at first you show me the uh, problem that where you are starting and uh, where you are stuck and what the problem or the error you are getting i will try to solve it not only that program where while we are doing like that uh, the while loop and the do while loop google some code google some code that the example code of do while loop and uh, the example code of while loop there the, in the internet there are there are lots of coding are available try to understand try to solve that code try to practice that code if you are not getting that code if you are not Uh, getting understand then try to bring that code in front of everyone then we all together try to understand i will help you to understand all of you okay so uh, any problem anything no na so in the next session this is the last topic for today so sir yes yes, yes. So, is there in uh, is there any indentation error in Java code? Yes. Is there any indentation error? Uh, indentation space. error. Space. Space. Oh, no, 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 no. Not 
but uh, maybe it have some some places it have and some places it haven't i don't think that there is a spacious error but you java is very case sensitive you need to know that all the block all the brackets all the capital letter and the small letter you have to give it properly otherwise you will get error okay okay sir okay so that's all for the today so we are ending the session okay so we will uh, sunit sir will inform you when the next session will going to be happen okay 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 so in the next uh, in the next session we will start from the java for loop and try to understand all the loops very well and the most important part is that for loop it is the it that for loop you are going to be used the most in the java program in the every program if you are searching over the internet if you search over the internet or uh, or any kind of java code if you are looking in 100 code in the 99 code you will use that for loop definitely so this is that the for loop without for loop you can't print the bunch of string or the bunch of um, care or the bunch of int the value of some suppose we have created an array and within that array we have assigned 30 40 value so how will you print that using that for loop otherwise you don't have any option for printing that like uh, 100 200 values when you want to print then you need to use that for loop so for loop is the one of the most important loop so in the next session we will start from the for loop and everyone please uh, try to practice all the codes and not only this code not only this example code try to practice some code from uh, you just look uh, over the internet there are lots of codes are available. Okay, so you can practice some codes from the internet also. And if you are not getting understand, you come in and bring it in front of everyone. Then we will solve, try to solve together. Okay. Okay, so we are ending the session today. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank, you, thank, you, sir. Thank, you, sir. thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you.